Hello YouTube, this is Dark Emissary 617 and today I'm going to be reviewing the Transformers Robots in Disguise Minicon Deployers Overload and Backtrack. Overload here is in the form of a tank. A nice looking uh, blue tank. And you can see Backtrack the Minicon right there inside. And his Decepticon logo, his insignia right on his arm. That is going to be... Let's first take a look at the box. Here's how he looks in the cartoon. You can already see he sadly is not accurate to his cartoon counterpart, though. Same thing with Backtrack. The toy is too, uh, it's too bright. It's supposed to be a darker blue. And Backtrack isn't even supposed to be green. He's supposed to be, like, also, he's actually supposed to be a lighter blue. And then you can see on the sides of the box, here's Overload and Backtrack. And on the back, just your usual stuff, nothing too interesting on the back. And, um, let's just go look at Overload here. Now, first of all, the details on this guy is not half bad. It's a tank, and it looks cool. It's got the nice treads at the bottom, wheels at the bottom to help him roll. He doesn't roll very well, but, you know, it's a tank. What'd you expect? Now, pay attention to this at the bottom. There is actually a peg that is very important to the deployer gimmick. A lot of people get this wrong, I've noticed, online. They keep trying to activate by just pressing up here, but that's not enough. You have to get a lot this done first. Make sure this thing is pressed down, or you could just squeeze the figure down. Then you press the cannon, and I'm going to block it because it actually shoots very far. Watch. See? And it actually works like that. Then it just shoots out, and you can just push it back in. And you have to do that rinse and repeat if you want to activate the gimmick again. Um, Backtrack fits in pretty well, actually. And, um, yeah. So, that's how the depo uh, that's how the deployer gimmick works. And now let's get to the robot mode of, um, Overload. First, you just separate his arms. Well, actually, that was another... I actually should have just got this done first. You take out the treads at the bottom. There's, like, pegs inside that hold them in. And then you flip them out. Then you just kind of just get things folded in accordingly. Like, yeah. And then they kind of just fold in there. Same thing with the other leg. Oh, you have to also do this part too. Make sure that, because then the legs will be out. Get the deployer gimmick to fold into the back. Then you're going to do something very interesting here. His chest will actually come out from there and f plug in here. Then you can flip his uh, head, this mask down or whatever, this cover. And you can see his face. Get his arms straightened out, straighten the legs. And then you can do this part. This part you have to do is cool. You... By folding that down, his gun gives the illusion he, he's holding on to it. That is actually quite cool, I have to admit. So here's Overload in his robot mode. It's not terrible, but it's kind of cheap because he's uh, very hollow. Because of the vehicle mode and the nature of his build, he has very hollow... Yeah, sorry about that. He has very hollow arms, as you can see here. And he doesn't have much articulation. The arms just kind of just flip out, and this one's very loose. I guess the gun made it kind of heavy. And his legs go in and out, and kind of, like, due to the nature of the transformation, kind of splits there at the, el at the knee, but not by much, and it's not very useful. Now, here's the Minicon backtrack here. He's pretty cool. What I do is to transform him, you just grab his arms and then you grab it at the top here, pull it, and then straighten his legs. And then you got Backtrack in his uh, robot mode. He looks kind of like a Bakugan, you can tell, the way he uh, folds out. And 
he's uh, pretty small. He can stand pretty well, and he has some decent detail. The arms do move forward, but that's about it, and there's no other real articulation to this guy. But, you know, he's not a bad minicon. I've seen worse. And, really, that's kind of all I can say about this figure. Is he a great figure? Not exactly. Is he terrible? No, not at all. So far, this is the only Overload figure we got. He just appeared in Season 2 of the Robots in Disguise cartoon on Cartoon Network. And, you know, I'm hoping to see a Warrior Class figure on this guy. He definitely needs it. There's only, um... The deployers either way kind of got dropped because I'm guessing they didn't sell well, which I don't blame them. But anyways, that's all there is to it. And this has been my review on Transformers, Robots in Disguise, Overload, and Backtrack, the Minicon Deployers. This is Dark Emissary 617 signing out.